morning. Welcome to CatX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, January 14th, 2016. Want to follow us on Twitter? Go to CatX TV, please. The Islamic State has claimed responsibility for a coordinated bomb and gun attack in Jakarta earlier today. At least 10 people have been killed. Five of the dead are the attackers themselves. They were killed in the explosions, as well as a gun battle between police in the central business district of the city. Police are saying the, uh, uh, that ISIL, the Islamic State, is definitely behind the attack. Six explosions occurred about 50 yards apart in the central business district, which also houses the United Nations office. Uh, employees of the UN were watching the gun battle unfold on the streets below them from their offices. And Al Jazeera is reporting that a uh, police uh, post, uh, a small police position, was destroyed in a grenade blast. Uh, there were also reports of a Dutch tourist uh, fighting for his life as well. Lloyd's chief executive Inga Beale was uh, reported by a uh, London newspaper to apparently be uh, a potential contender for the job of chief executive officer at Zurich Insurance Group. Beale had previously been the chief underwriting officer at Zurich from 2009 to 2012. The Evening Standard is saying that Beale had, quote, reportedly told friends it would be her dream job. Meanwhile, Lloyds denied the speculation, saying that Miss Beale would stay at Lloyds. Quote, there is no truth in speculation linking Inga with the role at Zurich. She is very happy in her current role with Lloyds. Tom Bolt, the performance manager at Lloyds, has indicated he will leave at mid-year. Renault, the French automaker, was raided by government fraud investigators last week as part of a probe on vehicle emissions, initially raising the specter of a Volkswagen-type scandal at the French automaker. Uh, Renault is apparently cooperating fully with the investigation. The French police had uh, begun to select randomly uh, models made by other French manufacturers as well as uh, Citroën, uh, which apparently had uh, no difficulty whatsoever. And for that matter, the four Renault models that were tested by the end of last month had no difficulty whatsoever. Meanwhile, Renault's stock price had dropped because of the publicity surrounding the French police raid. A 6.7 earthquake struck off of Japan uh, about an hour and a half ago at 12.30 p.m. Uh, local time. It struck just off the coast of Hokkaido in northern Tokyo. No tsunami warning was issued there, and there are no reports of any damage or injuries yet. U.S. presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton uh, has now bashed Bermuda in an attack on tax loopholes. Her, in her official website said high-income money managers have used loopholes relating to foreign reinsurance, often located in Bermuda, to avoid paying their fair share. She went on to say there is essentially a private tax system for the wealthiest Americans that lets them lower their tax bills by billions while working families play by the rules and pay their fair share. She, unfortunately, she said the tax code is rigged to favor multimillionaires and billionaires who can exploit loopholes. One billionaire who apparently has had difficulty exploiting that particular loophole is John Paulson. His Bermuda-based reinsurance company is winding down. The company named Pac Re, which he set up in 2012, has not been writing policies since January 1st. Um, one of the uh, Bermuda reinsurers set up by hedge funds in recent years that Ms. Clinton is criticizing. Um, Mr. Paulson set up PACRI with $500 million. It does not have any of its own employees. He uses Valid as his underwriting staff. Um, it has not been a success. 2015's natural disaster and severe weather events around the globe has resulted in insurance and reinsurance industry losses of $35 billion which is a lot of money, but it's 31 percent below the 15-year average of $51 billion, and it's the lowest annual insured loss in seven years. This is according to Aon Benfield. Uh, they do note that the uh, um, actual economic losses that uh, are also a little bit below average are at about $123 billion. So once again, there's that gap. This, in this case, it's about $88 billion gap uh, between the actual economic losses that could be insured and the actual insured losses. 
the industry should be very thankful that uh, actual insured losses are this low, given the fact that premiums are low. The uh, fact that the claims payouts are low as well is probably keeping a number of reinsurers uh, slightly in the black. That's the news for today. We'll keep an eye on the stock market. It was a terrible day in New York yesterday with the Dow Jones uh, going down, uh, I believe, just about 300 points. Thus far, uh, futures trading indicates that it will be an up day, but we'll see. That's the news. If we have anything breaking, we'll come back and tell you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.